Okay, so I don't know if you heard about this. I saw this the other day. Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel is kaput. Ending. Yes. Did you、yeah. see the announcement? I didn't see the announcement. I just heard all of the like、uh, all the people talking. Yeah, people about talking it. about it, or maybe all the not people talking because I don't even know. I feel like. I, okay, so here's the here's what they had.、Um, we just have this pulled up. Here's what they said. Here's the skinny. Their Facebook. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel community for its wonderful support. It is with heavy hearts that we. <laughs> it's never a good thing when I have to say that. It is with heavy hearts that we announce that we will be ending service at five. UTC, like 5 p.m. UTC on Monday, September 4th, 2023.、Um, as such, we will increase the amount of re- rewards, such as gifts and login bonuses, so that players may continue to enjoy the game until the service ends. Further details will be updated on the application and official website. So,、um, yeah, that's that's basically it.、Uh, cross Duel, you get Cross Duel, the mobile game that you may not have even really known about, is ending. Basically, like a year after release, and this game only this game came out like last. Yeah, it came、fall. out last. I feel it had. I remember it had a very early kind of like beta test that I was a part of, and then many months passed before the game officially released. Yeah, what were your thoughts on Cross Duel when it when it happened? I remember we we made like a review video on it. So we ever like released. We never. It, yeah,、right? it never came out. My issue with Crawl, I, I I do play a few mobile games, so I'm not adverse to mobile games as much as、uh, other people are. But my issue with Cross Duel was, I wanted particular cards, and no matter how much money I spent, I couldn't guarantee getting them. You know, in Mass Duel we have the, we have the、uh, crafting system. But Cross Duel was very much a, a typical like gotcha game. Yeah, you, you had to spin cards randomly out of the gotcha. They cost premium currency. And you couldn't craft them. You couldn't craft them. Well, okay, wait. Upgrade them. What What was good about it? Was there, if if I mean, anything? It, I mean, I played a little.、So. Cross Duel was a unique game. It was a different. It was a different. It was a different type of Yu Gi Oh. And if that's what you were into, that's what you were getting. I remember when they first announced it, and it was like.、Uh, You know, a new four-player way to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and everybody thought that it was going to be like a battle royale style Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's still Yu-Gi-Oh, like the、mm-hmm. card game you know, just like in battle royale, like free for all style. Because they've done that in the anime a bit, like Arc Five, I think did that. Yeah, they did have battle、stuff. royales in Arc Five, but that was it was never realistic. Or people thought this would have been like a, a tag duel thing. Cause it ended up being that. To make a battle royale Yu-Gi-Oh video game, I don't think you can do that on mobile. I just yeah, it's probably maybe you could. I think it would be very difficult presenting a game of like three or more people. Oh yeah, on the sc- okay, on I like a phone、saying. screen. Okay, well I'll say the things I think it did well because I played a little bit of Cross Duel. I I did participate in the early beta.、Um, I think that the production values in the game were great. I mean, they definitely rivaled Duel Links just in terms of you know they had. Yeah, it was vo- a pretty game. Full voice acting, so that was、mm-hmm. like a really big plus. They had all the different series represented. So like you know from Duel Monsters and GX all the way up to like even、uh, Yu-Gi-Oh like Rush Duel or Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens or whatever even those characters were were in the game and that was really cool.、Um, I think the graphics actually looked really nice. It was a game that had because it, it's been a while since we've gotten like three D models of like Yu-Gi-Oh、yeah. monsters and so it had all of those. I thought that was really neat. I like the summoning animations for the Ace monsters; those were cool too. Yeah, and like I remember even the intro had like this really cool kind of just this animation with like Dark Magician and Neos and Blue Eyes and stuff. So I mean, like you know, the premise seemed neat. I think it fell apart for me at like I don't think that this sort of game has like an audience, or not. That's harsh. Let let me let me take that back. I guess what I mean to say is, who is this game for? I mean, it's, it's for you, Gale fans. I guess that's what they would want you to believe, huh? Right. But then it's like I don't know because I think when people hear about Yu-Gi-Oh video games, they expect it to be. The card game in a simulator again,、right. and I think that what they maybe didn't do well here, I don't say they didn't do it well, but like is it kind of you would assume it's like the card game in real life, like the cards do the same thing that they do, but then they don't. So、like、there's like a different rule set, but it's not so much different. And for, so for context, in Cross Duel, most almost all cards. Have no effect unless they get upgraded to have an effect. Yeah, the monsters. Yeah. yeah, but then they don't. But even when they do have effects, they're not exactly the same as what you're used to. Yeah, and there's like the movement system and just all these things that I think tried 
to do something different, and they did it pretty well. Like, I mean, when I was playing it, I had a pretty fun time. Like, it was engaging. It's just that I think for the average Yu-Gi-Oh player, they look at this and they just go, like, what's the point, I guess? Like, it's not the TCG kind of rules that you're used to, and it doesn't, while it's also not, like, I think that if I wanted maybe a, like, a sort of strategy movement-based game, I think people would look to more dedicated genres for it. So, like, maybe that's the thing. I also think that the marketing in this game was really confusing to me. I feel like they would, I, so, what did you remember of them? Did you see any of the commercials? Uh, yeah, I mean, they were all over YouTube and stuff when the game first released. Uh, I think, but Cross Duel's release was very strange. When the beta had happened, there was a lot of, there was a lot of, like, interest and talk about it. Yeah, what might this be? And then the beta ended, and then we heard literally nothing for many months. Yeah, that, that beta ended, and, like, then the game didn't come out for, like, another year or something after that. And, like, so any, like, hype that had been generated by the beta was pretty much completely gone by its official release. They did this weird thing on social media for, like, the two or three months leading up to it where they were, like, it's coming out. And, like, they would say, like, they say these, like, extremely vague things and try to get you to, like, pre-register or whatever, however that works. And, like... We had no clue when it was But you didn't know, like, when it was coming out. They wouldn't say, like, what it was. They're, like, if we can get 500,000 people or whatever to pre-register... Then there will be this thing when the game launches, but I, just, I guess it it was like strange to me. And I remember when the commercials came out for the game, um, the commercials were weird. Like they, they, there was like these people sitting around like in a living room playing, and I guess I, guess I didn't really understand. The vibe was off. I, I know it's like a such a, a, a nebulous thing to say, but like I didn't really think that it sold the game very well. Like I don't know, like how am I am I really supposed to play Cross with four people in my living room? Is that like what they're? I mean, you so, can. I guess you idea. could do it, but uh, I mean, so. you can all. But you know, a cross duel game was really just you, one person, and two bots. Yeah, the game, the online servers weren't super active. Um, I know you were saying you think it maybe had too many game modes. I think cross duel. I think it, it launched, what because it introduced the like raid battle mode like fairly early in, and you had uh, the casual way to play and the ranked way to play. I just think it all should have been ranked. Just every game ranks you. Because yeah. when a game launches and it doesn't necessarily have like the largest audience in the world, it's better if you can just funnel them all into the one game one mode. game mode. I think of battle royales for that. You know, most battle royale games only have like a, 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 a like two modes, and one's not even obvious. Yeah. So for the most part, everyone just hits whatever the first play button they see is, and they play in that one mode. And yeah, I think people just. Didn't know this game existed i'm gonna be like to be frank about it i just don't think a lot of people knew because i remember i mean when this came out the other day this announcement that it's ending there were people who were like what was that? like i didn't even know this happened to begin with so that kind of sucks i mean i guess that goes to show they did some collaborations with content creators or maybe pseudo celebrities hey, but call me but <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I can't say. I was never reached out to by Konami or anyone else about, like, cross stool promotion, so... Certainly I would have done it. Um, as long as they could have guaranteed, like, get another copy of Odd Eyes! <laughs> I, uh... I remember they would do, like, these collaborations, like, with streamers, but it seemed like it was people I'd never really heard of. Maybe they were based in other countries, and that might have been why, but I always felt like they didn't really reach out to, like, large mainstream sort of creators and... So that might have helped, but I they mean, didn't seem to do that. There's budgetary uh, limitations. You can't get Ludwig to play every game. Yeah, <laughs> true. I I think um, that like, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something that's kind of sad about this sort of thing, though, is that this is the first. If I'm, you guys, correct me if I'm wrong, or you should just, maybe the second, because there was like a Yu-Gi-Oh Dual Generations game. But I was gonna say this is like the first or one of the only Yu-Gi-Oh games. Where like it ending means like you'll never be able to revisit this game, I right? Mean, because it's like all server yeah, side. Yeah, this is a live service game. And so once the service is over, it's like you can't have been a fan who like like okay, so like say you know we we play like you get wheelie breakers in the Wii. Yeah, terrible game to be completely honest. Doesn't control well. It's kind of a mess. But like it's got its little charm, and if I ever want to, I can pop it in the Wii and play it, or right. even like emulate or whatever. But with this, I mean, like it literally just isn't. But I, I mean, can't. that is most games now. I mean, when Master Duel shuts down one day, 
That'll sure, be that. Yeah. There'll be no more Master Duel. And when Duel Links shuts down one day, more than likely sooner than Master Duel, that'll <laughs> be that. The game will be over with. And that's the state of gaming right now. It yeah, games as a service. You want to enjoy, so you have to kind of enjoy them in the moment and know that one day they that will be over and there's no you can't get it back, you can't retain it. So it's a bit of a shame if you really did enjoy Cross Duel and like what they did here uh, come September fourth, yeah. five o'clock UTC. <laughs> Such a specific time, very dark. Um, okay, so what do you think? Just here, here's a last thought on it. Um, what should it have done? Like. What could have saved this? Whether that's something different from the jump, well, they or... should have called me to to like help with promoting the game, right? Uh, and right. giving me extra copies of Odd Eyes, but yeah, like what should have been done differently here? I have my hunches. I want to hear. Um, so, they the gotcha system was pretty unforgiving, and I think you can only get away with that when your game is really popular. Um. If your game isn't, if your game's niche out the gate, something like a Yu-Gi-Oh cross duel game, where it's a Yu-Gi-Oh is a niche, and then you're gonna slice a sl- get a slice of that niche, because not every Yu-Gi-Oh player even plays mobile games or would even care to play a non-Yu-Gi-Oh TCG game. You had such a small amount of people you were working with. Yeah. It needed to be a much, it had to be much easier for people to get what they wanted, to then play with well real people. I feel that. Uh, you quickly noticed in cross duels when you're playing against bots versus real people, and you played against bots so often. I think that soured the experience. At least for me, it did. I mean, I'm thinking, I guess maybe even like further, zooming out even a little further than that is like I think that they should have pushed harder into a different genre. And I know it's gonna sound weird, but I think that it it, it just is so make it a different game. Yeah, make it a different game because this to me feels like it just falls in the awkward space of vaguely resembling like the TCG, like your sensibilities around like what spells and traps are and like what monsters are and like their attack and defense values and stuff. But then it's not the TCG. And it's, so it's like, it's familiar, but it isn't familiar. But then it also doesn't lean far enough to me into like the sort of strategic board game moving thing. Like I saw somebody on social media posted like, it might've been just more interesting to make like dungeon dice monsters as a, as a mobile game. For some reason, they just don't want to do that. Yeah, or just something kind of where you, you fully embrace the tabletop like RPG element I mean, of it or something. we Duels of the Roses and yeah. Capsule Monster Coliseum. Yeah, maybe like that would have been a better. I, I'm, think, I mean, I'm not, I don't know that that would even, uh, but like I think that might've been better. I think they were going for a more kind of, uh, they want to be a bit, bit faster, a bit more action-y. That's why, you know, everybody takes their turn just playing their cards. Their turns don't take long. And then and everything everyone moves, moves together. and yeah. they battle. And the duels are only eight activates. turns, which, you know, that's... They were, tr- they, they were trying to optimize for, like, the mobile experience. You know, you're on the go. Can you whip out your phone and play for, like, three minutes? Yeah. Because like, it, it, it couldn't take too long. It couldn't. It had, and it still had to be satisfying and entertaining. And so there's a whole lot of things that I think that's the reason why we don't get a Capsule Monster Coliseum or a Dungeon Dice Monsters on mobile. Now, on console or like PC, it's different. You know? And they should bring those things back, Konami. Yeah. I would like to see a dungeon of a modern Dungeon Dice Monsters. That might still suffer from Even the same give me the physical problems. game. I'll even take the physical game. You know, just bring that back, man. So, yeah, I guess Rest in Peace Across Duel sucks that it had to go so quickly. I know... Um, Should have had me promote it. Yeah. Just reach out to us, Kanani. We can solve anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I hate to see it happen. I guess there are people who are really probably upset about this. Um, so Hey, you know, we still have our main Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, yeah, like, game. Master Duel! <laughs> yeah. yeah, Master Duel and, and, and even Duel Links. Like, they're, they're going pretty strong. I think they, those are fine. It's just... I would like to one day see a crossover Yu-Gi-Oh game exist. This just, I guess, wasn't... Street Fighter it. cross Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, a Yu-Gi-Oh fighting game might not be that bad. I, I'd love to play Yu-Gi-Oh fighting I'd play a Yu-Gi-Oh fighting game. You know how many the monsters Jump would Force. be sick? You know what they could do? They could do, not, not Jump Force style, I'd like it in Smash Brothers style. Yeah. You know what's sad is that, like, I think that would be far more popular. Like, I, 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 it could be, like, a, a 2D fighter or... Like a platform fighter, multiverse is like I know people don't like that game, but like you know, kind of the Smash clone thing. Mm-hmm. Like that could have been neat. So, 
Anyways, different conversation for a different day. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of pour one out for Crawl Stool and. Uh, we have nothing to pour here, but just imagine yeah. pouring one. You out. can pour one out for, by liking the video. That's right, and make sure you subscribe. This is APS Amplifier. Yeah, if you want it more talk like this, we thought about doing it in kind of a podcast style. You guys can tell us if that sounds like something. We can't say the name of what it would be because we only stealing the name, but yeah. All right, cool. Uh, let us know. Did you guys play Cross Duel? Did you have any experience with this? Are you, you know, like any any opinions on what could have been done differently or, to salvage this? And if you didn't play Cross Duel, are you gonna hop on before September fourth? Yeah, these to next, try it out. You know, several months. Or what? What would you have done differently? What would you like? Or maybe you're gonna try it. Let us know what you think. All right, uh, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's turn.